Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coder Circuit. This is Roshan Kumar and today we are going to start introduction to machine learning. Now, what is machine learning? In the name only you can say it's a combination of two words. One is machine and one is learning. That means if we are making one machine to learn something from the it may be data or it may be anything. That means if machine is learning something from the data that is machine learning. Now see the definition of machine learning. Now if you see it's a subdomain of AI that makes computer a machine to learn from the data and to improve the performance without any like being explicitly that means with will be like training the machine with the exact set of rules that is machine learning. So now you see the relationship between AI, ML and DL. So if you see here AI is a domain. So inside AI will be having something called machine learning as a subdomain and inside machine learning will be having one more subdomain as deep learning. So if you see the deep learning will be having something called like deep learning neural network and will be having something called convolutional neural network. Now we'll see the definition of AI, ML and DL. So what is AI? AI stands for artificial intelligence and it's a technique which enables machine to mimic like a human. That means if we are making any machine to work like a human, that is your artificial intelligence. Now, if you see the definition of machine learning, it's a subdomain of AI. That means it's a subdomain of AI which use statistical method to enable machine to improve with experience. That means if you are taking any machine and if we are feeding the data to a machine and, and from that data, if machine is learning something, that is our machine learning. So in simple word, if you say what is machine learning, we are making machine to learn something from the data that is machine learning. If you say deep learning, it's a subdomain of machine learning, not AI. It's a subdomain of machine learning, which makes competition of multi-layer neural network feasible. That means we'll be having deep neural network, we'll be having convolutional neural network. So now we'll see different types of machine learning. So what are the different types of machine learning if you say? So there is basically three types of machine learning. First one is supervised, second one is unsupervised and third one is reinforcement learning. Now if you see what is supervised machine learning model that means if you see we have taken one data of cat yes and we have selected one training model that is we have selected one model and we are feeding same data of cat to this model and we are making this model to predict this is a cat that means supervised learning is used to train machine using label data label data means we are taking data of cat what we are predicting we are predicting cat only so this is supervised machine learning and if you see unsupervised machine learning model, that means we'll be taking multiple data. It may be cat, it may be dog, or it may be anything. That means if you see here, we have taken multiple data. We are having buses. We are having truck, right? That means we are having buses and truck. With that data, we are feeding to our trained model. That is machine learning model. And we are making the machine to learn from the data and finds the pattern to predict either the data we have passed is bus or the data we have passed is truck. Now, if you say reinforcement learning, so in reinforcement learning, we'll be working with agent and environment. That means to get the maximum reward, we'll be making the agent to work with the environment so that we'll be getting the reward as the maximum. That means reinforcement learning uses an agent and an environment to produce actions and reward. If you see here, we are having one shape, we are passing this one to train model. And what we are taking, we are taking output as a square only. So this is one square we are passing to our model and it's predicting it's a square only. That means this shape is passed to our model. From that model, machine is learning. Okay, so this is a square. And what it's predicting, it's predicting square only. So now we will see what is supervised machine learning model. That means if you see here, we are having supervised here. That means we will be taking input data as a known data and we will be selecting one model. That means if you see here, we are having input data as known data. From this known data, we are training one our model. That means whatever the model we have taken, we are training the model with the known data and from that known data if we are predicting same thing as a output that means we are training our model with apple what we are telling to our machines we are training you 
with an apple. So what you have to predict? You have to predict apple only. Why? Because it's a supervised machine learning model. So now we'll see what is unsupervised machine learning. That means if you see here in unsupervised learning, we are having one collection of input data. That means if you see here, we are having different types of data. We are having different kinds of fruit. One is apple, one is mango, one is pear, right? So with that data, we are fetching the data to our model. And from that model, what it will predict, it will find some pattern. For example, if it is red color, if it is round in shape, it can be apple. If it is yellow and if it is like triangle shape, it may be uh, like mango. That means from the collection of data, we are fetching to our machine. And from that data, if machine is finding some pattern and making the cluster of similar type, that means if it is red type and circular, it is apple. If it is orange and if it is like triangle color, it's a mango. And if it is something called green color and red inside, that means it's a peer. So this is unsupervised machine learning. That means no supervision will be there. Machine or a model, it will automatically detect the pattern inside the, like whatever the data we are passing from that data, if the things are predicting, if the output are predicting, it's unsupervised machine learning. Now we see what is reinforcement learning. So in reinforcement learning, we'll be working with the agent and environment. That means if you see here, what we are doing here is we are passing one raw data. That means if we are taking this data, this data may be raw data. Okay. And we are passing this raw data to a model. Yes, we are passing the raw data to a model and that model will predict, give you one response. According to that response, the agent will give the feedback. Either the response is correct or not. Okay. That means if you see the real life example, if you are using chart GPT, okay, you are searching like bubble sort or anything, or if you are searching for anything in chart GPT, sometime it will give you and pop up like prefer option one, prefer option two. That means for the same code, you'll be having two options. One response one, another one is response two. So according to if you are selecting response one, what chat GPT will think? Okay, so response one is better than the response two. That means chat GPT is taking feedback from you. Which one is the better one? Same thing applies in reinforcement learning. That means we are passing raw data. We are training the model. And if that model is giving you one response, According to that response, if agent is passing the feedback and according to feedback, that machine is working. That means according to the feedback, if machine is learning, that means if you see here, we have passed one raw data as apple, right? So machine is giving one response as a mango. Yes. Now what we are doing, we are giving one feedback. It's not an apple. It's a, sorry, it's not a mango. It's an apple. Yes. And next time what machine learns? It's not a mango, it's an apple. Next time, if you pass the same similar kind of data, the machine will tell you it's an apple. This is a reinforcement learning. So now we'll see what are the algorithms that comes under supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. So if you consider supervised learning, if you see here, we are having linear regression. We are having logistic regression, SVM that is support vector machines. We are having KNN that is K nearest neighbor and we are having something called decision tree. So these all are the algorithms of supervised learning model. Now if you see unsupervised learning model, we are having K-means clustering, we are having particle clustering, we are having DB scan and we are having something called PCA that is principal component analysis. If you see what is PCA, it's like if you want to re uh, like reduce the dimensionality from 3D to 2D, 2D to 1D, for that purpose we'll be using algorithm called PCA. Next, if you see reinforcement learning, we are having something called Q-learning, we are having something called SARSA, we are having something called Monte Carlo and we are having something called Deep Q Network. So these all are the famous algorithm of supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. Next, if you see what is the approach of supervised learning, unsupervised learning and uh, like reinforcement learning. Now, if you see here, uh, what is supervised learning? So takes label data as an input, yes, and maps it to the known output. That means takes, uh, takes the data as a label data. That means input will be known. It will predict the output. Whatever the input we have taken from the same data will be testing the model. So if you are taking Apple and telling the machine it's an Apple, and if you are predicting same thing, Apple only, that is supervised learning model. Now, if you see unsupervised learning model, understand the pattern 
and trains in the data and that discovers the output from the path run. That means if you are taking collection of data from that data, if machine is learning some path run and from that pattern, if it is pre like predicting it is apple, it is orange or it is banana, this is unsupervised learning. Now, if you see the reinforcement learning, that means we'll be working with the agent and environment. See here, follows the trial and error approach method to arrive at the desired solution. That means for the better reward, we'll be working with agent and environment. This is reinforcement learning. So now we'll see what are the trainings approach. That means if you consider supervised, if you consider supervised learning model, that means in supervised learning model, in the name only if you said supervised, that means supervision is required. That means if machine is learning something, there should be one supervisor to supervise the thing. Either the machine is working correctly or not. Okay. And if you consider unsupervised, that means it's the name only un and supervised. No supervised required. Same in the reinforcement learning because it works with the trial and error approach. That means no supervision will be there. Yes. Now, if you see, so types of problems. So what kind of problem will be solving with supervised algorithm, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. So if you are considering supervised learning, we will be like working with the classification and regression. If you are considering unsupervised learning, we'll be working with clustering and association. If we are working with reinforcement learning, we'll be working with reward based approach. That means this is the types of problem we can solve with supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. What are the applications of supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning? If you see the application of supervised learning, we are having something called weather prediction. That means we can predict the weather with supervised learning. We can do sales forecast. We can do stock prices analysis. That means from next one, we are having something called unsupervised learning. So what are the applications of unsupervised learning? If you see here, we are having customer segmentation. We are having churn analysis, right? So if you see the application of reinforcement learning, one will be building games. Second one, you can train the robots, that means training the robots. Yes. So these are the applications of supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. Thank you for watching this video. Okay. If you like the video, please hit like button and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade. If you have any doubt regarding this one, please mention that to our comment section. And to get updates uh, about the videos and all, please hit the bell icon to our channel Coders Arcade. Okay, this is Prasen Kumar signing off. We'll see you in next video.